When Jesus was on the cross giving his life, making his sacrifice for all people for all time, isn't it interesting that the people of the day, the people who were there, cried out and said, if he's truly the Son of God, let him save himself, let him come off the cross. And the, the religious leaders and the Pharisees and the, 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 the teachers cried out and said, we will believe him if he saves himself and comes off the cross. Now what I find interesting about this is Jesus didn't come to save himself. He came to save us. And if he had done what the people were crying out for and what the religious leaders were demanding that he do to prove who he was so that we would believe in him, if he'd done that, if he'd saved himself, then, then the people would have believed, but there wouldn't have been anything to believe in. Because Jesus came to give his life on the cross for me, for you, for all of us, for those Pharisees, for those people. And the point of this is, so often when we are crying out to God or we're saying, God, if you do this or you do that, then I'll believe you or I'll trust that you're with me or I'll trust that you're making a way for me. And oftentimes God doesn't do what we're asking for. It's not because he's ignoring our prayers. It's not because he doesn't care. It's not because you don't matter to him. It's simply because he is a much, much, much better plan and better way. See, the people and the Pharisees said, save yourself, save yourself, come off the cross and we will believe. And Jesus is thinking, but I didn't come to save myself. I come to save you. And I know that that doesn't make sense to you, but that's part of the mystery of the great love and the great wisdom of our God. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about taking comfort in the mystery. Taking comfort when God isn't doing what we want Him to do when we want Him to do it. We, we, we will often not understand what God's doing, but we can always understand what He's like. And when we know He's good, when we know He loves us, when we know He's wise, when we know His ways are higher than our ways, thank God. Thank God, thank you God that your ways are higher than our ways because he knows how to do things so much better than we can do. Messes we get ourselves into or situations we find ourselves in that we don't know how to get out of, he knows how to get out of. The situations that we don't know how to gain victory in, he knows how to bring victory into them. He may not do it when we want, the way we want, but you can take comfort in the fact that when God isn't doing what you're crying out for, when he isn't doing what you're expecting him to do or demanding him to do even, just like the Pharisees and the people there at the day of the crucifixion, when he's not doing what you want when he wants, don't be discouraged. Don't give in to the lies of the enemy that would tell you God's not there for you, he doesn't care about you, but actually take comfort in the fact that God has a much better plan than, than you or I have ever thought of. When he's not doing what we want when he wants him to do it, he's not ignoring us. He's just bringing about a better end than we could have possibly imagined or hoped for.